So with quarantine going on, there's been a lot of time to just kind of sit back and kind of do literally nothing all day. Um, and a lot of, you know, epic people are playing epic video games because epic's a funny word and I will repeat epic over and over until it is even more funny. Yeah, it's 2020 and I'm still making epic jokes because it's epic. That's a good one, right? <laughs> you never saw that one coming. So some of the games I've been trying to get myself into over this quarantine, which has already been going on for what, maybe two months now? Um, is games that are very, uh, very large, or at least games that have really endless replayability, or virtually endless replayability. Games like No Man's Sky, CSGO, Gary's Mod, things like that. I've even been getting a lot into GTA too, so yeah, it, the list just goes on and on. But one game I really do want to get into, especially right now with what's coming, is Terraria. Now I'm recording this on May 8th, 2020. In just over a week, in eight days from now, we're going to be finally seeing what Journey's End is like, which is the final and next big Terraria update. It's like the, the next 1.3 update, if you remember how big that update was. Essentially, what they've done is they've revamped the entire Terraria experience, as they call it. It's a whole new way to experience Terraria. Terraria, Terraria, I don't really care how you pronounce it. But yeah, this new update seems very very different and I'm really looking forward to it and I think maybe this will be what finally gets me back into Terraria and I can finally put another 187 hours into it. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today was what everyone on my YouTube channel likes to hear about because it is a very cool topic and that always has to do with Nintendo because Nintendo is always involved in everything in my life. And did you know that Terraria is on the Switch? Did you know that? You know I've made a couple videos on that, you know, just a, just a few. Well, this one is going to be another video talking about me, the Terraria on the Nintendo Switch, because now I'm going to be talking about Journey's End coming to the Switch, because that's a cool topic that is very original on the internet. There's no even point of me just continuing to lead you on. Let's just get into this. So updates on consoles and mobile have generally been a little bit slower. And when I say a little bit slower, I mean pretty, pretty slow. In comparison to the PC version, especially, you're going to be waiting a, a very, a, a very long time. And from my understanding, it's still starting to get phased in, in like gradual steps. So, you know, the game came out in 2015, or at least the new update came out in 2015. And, you know, 1.3 still kind of, it's almost there. It's basically just sliding in. And honestly, you know, if it takes them five years to do that, I'm not even judging them if it actually, because 1.3 is a very significant update, but it's most likely not going to take them another five or so years to, you know, port this new update to the switch because this is the f or not even just the switch to any mo to any version because this is the final update and of course they're going to want to get this out as quick as they can but not rush it entirely so that it's just a bad update on all the other versions other than pc they want to do that just so they can work on the next big project which is of course terraria 2 that's if you don't know that's not that's not being me being sarcastic there the next project is probably terraria 2 Wait, no, not probably, definitely Terraria 2. And here's some leaked gameplay right here if you want to see how it looks. Some people are speculating that we could be waiting from anywhere between four months to a year to finally get all of Journey's End content on the console versions, and that includes the Switch, because you know the Switch is a console. Some people, though, have been questioning, at least, is it possible, though? Like, is it possible for an update of this size to get ported to, to Terraria, and from what I'm seeing, um, or at least from what I can understand, I don't really think there's too much standing in the way of this update coming to consoles, so I don't think there should be any anxiety or fear around that, just simply because all of the consoles that this is coming to, which is, you know, Switch, the, the Wii U's done, and the 3DS version, um, 360 and PS3 are also done. All the PS4, Xbox One, probably even PS5 and Series X, and the Switch, that includes the Lite too, they're all probably going to get it relatively quickly. And I don't think the console's power is going to have anything to do with it, especially on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, whatever, and the Xbox, you know, you know. So there shouldn't be any anxiety about whether it is going to happen, because it definitely is. Console versions are just so popular that it would just make no sense for the game not to come, or the update to not come to the game on consoles. Now, whether it'll have some changes, though, that is a different topic, and I do believe that there may be some small tweaks but also larger tweaks to make it more fitting for consoles i guess for example on the switch there's touchscreen support um like pinch to zoom and quick inventory management and there's also some console exclusive stuff like dragon armor spectral armor stuff like that which by the way when i say dragon and spectral i mean as vanity but i do think it will be a very compelling update and i think it's gonna be quite similar to what the pc version is gonna have to offer and if i'm being honest i'm totally okay with that 
personally, my big thing is I'm going to be playing it probably on PC and I'm going to have a lot of um, troubles because I've had some issues with Expert, especially the Skeletron boss. Um, I've spent a lot of time trying to kill him and I had to get some friends to come on to help me to do that. So Master Mode may not be the easiest thing, but you know, I I'll still try and I'll probably fail, but I'll still try. And if you have any um, any awesome tips, then let me know, because I would be really, um, really, really swag. But anyway, that's all I have to say about the Switch version. However, what do you think about the 1.4 update coming to consoles, and especially the Switch version? Let me know in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and share if you did somehow enjoy this quite mediocre video. And as always, see ya.